How you doing there, dude? Man, everybody on YouTube is making fun of old Chip. Man, everybody's just mocking me right now. I'm tired of it, man. Man. One of those days, huh? Yep. So is, man. So is. Well, a wiser fellow than myself once said, sometimes you eat the bar, and sometimes the bar, well, he eats you. Are you saying I have to go out and take out all my frustration out on some trees with a chainsaw? I like your style, dude. <laughs> all right, then. That's what I'm going to go do. Hey, did I mention, did I tell you that uh, your stash is looking mighty stellar today? Got me the Magnum P.I. chills, man. Thank you. There's just one thing, dude. No, not one thing. I tell you what, I'm gonna take this chainsaw right now. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take down the biggest branch I can find. I'm gonna drop it right on his brand new fence. He's gonna be so pissed off, um, unbelievable. He's gonna be so pissed. That's what I'm. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. You have to use so many cuss words. Screw you, Sam. Okay, dude, have it your way. What's going on, guys? It's Mike with Sunny Slope, and I wanted to show you the progress that we uh, we accomplished with finishing our fence. So I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. So we wound up getting all the fence line ran. It's nice and straight straight as can possibly be i'm really happy and proud of how this fence went up we even put our front gate in here if you're wondering why the fence post is a little long it's because we're going to put that door that we have on our current chicken coop we'll attach it to this post and we'll latch it right down through here but yeah the fence the fence turned out really great we could finally start on working inside this chicken coop we plan on putting a uh, wire mesh fencing over the outsides here. We'll get begin we'll be getting to that here soon. But I got one thing I gotta deal with. And when it rains, it pours, guys. I'm telling you what. I did not see this happening. But it's uh it's something I gotta deal with, and I gotta look at the bright side of things and uh just get it done and push through it. Let me show you what it is. Yes. That is my brand new fence underneath a gigantic branch that came down on my brand new fence. The good thing, well, the post is now wonky, but it didn't crush my new gate. Now, I don't think I'm gonna replace the fence today or in this episode. Mainly, I just gotta address this big, uh, this big branch and figure out how I'm gonna get it down safely and then drop the rest of the tree in the background. Uh, let's take a closer look and you guys can see what I'm talking about trying to drop it down safely because it's only being held up by what I think is the supporting branches below and a little tree. You might be asking, Mike, what's the bright side of this? How can you find a silver lining in this situation that you have right here? And the way I'm gonna look at it is this guy right here, this big old trunk, is gonna provide some great firewood because uh, this is an ash and I love the smell of ash when it burns. But here is the tree that is holding up that big heavy log up there. It's this little tree right here. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna drop this to get that down to cut it up. And then I have to get these out of the way so I can do so. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a little nervous, honestly. Now something tells me that Chip had something to do with this because he saw, he had to have seen me working on this and how hard I, I worked on it and how many hours I put into it and how I tried just to make it as perfect as possible. I know he had something to do with it. So what I'm saying, I think Chip might have to go. And uh, yeah, we'll just, We'll just take it as, as it is. These things happen. There's nothing we can do about it. When I first saw it, I was 
extremely upset. I was just so devastated that this happened to me right after I put up this fence. I mean, I could not believe that this happened so fast. But hey, before I get started, you know, I have a lot of people who watch the videos that aren't subscribed and it doesn't take much just to hit that subscribe button. Give us a little bit of support. It really means a lot. So I'd appreciate if you hit the subscribe. I better remove my gate before this all comes down on top of it. So it's a good thing uh, I thought of that before we went any further. Well, I think uh, we're gonna stop there, get these branches cleared out. Start working on that big stuff. Well, now that we got these branches cleared out of the way, we can see what the damage is. And it's, it's not too bad, but there is a lot of broken wire and she'll still hold water, <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna replace it anyways, cause it's nasty main concern is it it tweaked that post in which i'm gonna have to bump back or ratchet strap it and try to straighten it out but now here comes the fun part drop in this behemoth without killing myself well and i've been looking at this for a little bit guys and there's a couple ways i can go about it i can use this tree right here as protection and use my pole saw which really i shouldn't be cutting that big of timber with that pole saw but i could slowly start knocking the legs out from underneath this and hope that that big tree up there it will like kick stand up and maybe i can get a rope around it and pull it down but the thing is if i cut this tree that's supporting that right there I'm afraid that the tree won't fall in the right direction and it'll actually kickstand that log big up that big log up there and then I'll have two 
thing standing straight up in the air I have to worry about. Plus, I got my new fence post right there and that new fence and I really want to try not to hit that fence. I'm already going to have concern trying to drop this big guy right there and making it fall in a direction that it will go that way because underneath of it is a big, big ditch. And if I drop it that way, it's going to be hard to cut up. So I got a couple ways of going about it. I think I'm going to try to knock the legs out of it, get it to fall this way, get a rope around it, and maybe pull it out of that tree and save that tree. I'm going to try a few things and see how it goes. Move my gate. <laughs> oh man. Oh, why don't I think about this stuff? Oh. Well, it's not too bad. Oh, I should have. I moved my gate. to not damage it and I wind up smoking the gate. Well, she's not totally crushed. She's not totally crushed. I mean, I can bend it back, but she ain't pretty, but what is? Besides, it gives it a little good character. Character, that's what I'm gonna call it. Well. We dropped it. We got it dropped and it didn't fall on me. Guess the only thing left to do is cut this bad boy up too. <sighs> well, this is true YouTube. At least uh I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hide the fact that I forgot to drop or I'm not gonna hide the fact that I forgot to move my gate and uh lesson learned. I have a real big problem with seeing things like that i move it out of the way i don't want to ruin the gate and what do i do i get so caught up trying not to kill myself and have this thing fall on me i forget to move the gate well i'd rather crush a gate than myself so so be it Ooh, i don't know guys that's a big tree that's a big trunk and I'm kind of contemplating on leaving it up there or just leaving it stand if it falls it's probably not going to hit my fence if it splits, it's gonna split into the ravine. But I'm thinking, if I can do this safely, 
if I wedge it, cut it from the back side, it might fall, hit this tree and slide right between these two trees. Well, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this tree up. I'm not gonna drop this one because I was thinking about dropping it to get this one out of the way so it didn't get hung up. But I think I'm gonna leave it up. I'm gonna use it as a guide to guide it away from my fence and drop it down here in the timber. The problem is, is it kind of curves towards me a little bit. So if I stand in the direction of natural curvature of this branch or this big trunk, it goes this way, right towards my fence. So I really have to wedge it back here, get a straight cut, kind of use this to stand behind and hope this thing doesn't kick out at me. All right, let's give it a shot. I didn't claim to be a lumberjack, that's for sure. I am covered in the man glitter, folks. Man glitter. It's raining man glitter. Well, she's all split. We'll give this the whole season to dry out because it was pretty wet. Splitting it wet, it dries a little faster, but we won't be burning this stuff this year. In the future, I do plan on welding a uh, cradle for this because holding those logs and dumping them over and trying to protect the components of this log splitter is getting a little old. So here in the near future, we'll be welding a cradle on that. But overall, I'm pretty impressed with this uh, log splitter. It's a Husky 22 ton, six horsepower log splitter. And uh, it's the first one I've ever owned. And I like it. Man, it beats it splitting by hand. That's for dang sure. But that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be kind to me in the comment section about how I uh, took that tree down. Like I say, I'm not a lumberjack, but I'll see you on the next episode, guys. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, man. See you later.